Dry Erase Productions. <laughs> sound effect in there. Uh, my name is Barbara Blight. I'm played by the Beehive Queen. And I'm about to knock on Ethan Chestnut's office. Knock! Knock! Who's there? Barbara Blight. Barbara Blight who? This isn't a joke. Let me in. Uh, I don't get it. Look, you goofball, I wasn't trying to make a joke! Oh, hi, I'm Ethan Chestnut. I'm played by Ben Affleck plus Squint. Look, it's about one of the students. Uh, would it be Susie Forehead? Played by Tony Basil. Minus the cheerleading outfit? Yes, that's the one. Hmm. So she's your problem too, huh? Yes. And you're thinking about resigning and turning over the class to her. No way! Not like that at all. No, she's proving to be a super magna genius, but when I offered to tutor her in her own home, she said no, no way. Her grandpa would never accept me. Or you either for that matter. Hmm. That's odd. So I figured I'd go over and talk some sense to that old coot. Hmm, he's a doctor, isn't he? I'm more like a doctored. Well, did you go to him and talk to him? Well, that's just it. Gave the address to the clerk. 76 Tater Tots Lane and... And... There's nothing there! It's just some old junkyard! It's houses on one side, trees on the other, and nothing in the middle except for this junkyard. Hmm, that's a mystery. Oh. Sometimes I am wondering if you even pay attention to me. Oh, sorry, um... So, shall we, um, go investigate? Well, not until after, um... I lend a book to Susie. Okay. Hello, Tats, rock and roll. Oops, ah, twos. Too early. She's my girl. <laughs> um, do you mind turning it down? Ethan's got a sensitive ear. Oh, sorry. Um, yes, uh, what you want to see me about, um, Barber? Um, I want to lend you a book on the French Revolution. Uh, are you afraid she's going to rewrite it? Knock it off! Um, okay, I'll have it back to you by tonight. Um, no, that's not necessary. Just until you finished it. Oh, I'll have finished it. But what are you, a speed reader? Oh, I would like to offer you and Barber a ride home. Uh, because I'm a nice guy that doesn't want to be mean. Um, no thanks. I would rather walk in the mystic fog. 
because it's so mysterious. Uh, then we will not deprive you of that, um, pleasure. Even though it seems kind of strange to let a 15-year-old girl walk alone in the fog. This, this has got to be the lamest possible automobile. Aren't you supposed to have a cool-looking car by now? Um, this is the year 1963. Uh, the cool cars were not invented until 1965. Oh. Well, anyway, I was wanting to talk about Susie. You know. She's become super magna genius in matters of history. But doesn't seem to know practical stuff like how many shillings are in a pound? What? She didn't know how many shillings were in a pound? No. She thought we were on the decimal system. Decimal system? Well, it is 1963, so we are not on there now. Oh, wait. Here comes Susan. Or Susie. Come on, let's go after her. Mm. Oh my goodness. It is, that's got to be the cheapest and lamest looking gazebo I have ever seen in my life. What's it doing in something even as respectable as a junkyard? Oh, I know, it's junk. Makes sense. Tiramisu cookies. Yep, it looks like junk, all right. Looks like a hunk of junk. Yeah, the sooner they tear this junky-looking gazebo down, the better. <coughs> I'm Doctor Two, played by Fred Schneider minus the Love Shack. I'm so old. Oh, an ancient. <laughs> Nobody knows how ancient I am. <laughs> Who is that old man? Uh, I don't know. But I suggest we enter and interfere. Hello, old man. Let us into that gazebo. What? No! Why won't you let us in? Because you two are strangers. Let us into that gazebo now! What? No! No way! I refuse to let you in! Rock and roll music! Hey, Grandpa! What are you doing out there? Here, go back inside and shut the door! Arg! One of them got in! Uh... What in the world? What are you doing in the Trotis? What did you say, Susie? Trotis. T-R-A-D-I-S. It's short for times, relatives, and dimensionals in space. I made that up myself. Who are these people? Now, oh, they're two of my school teachers. Hmm. Well, you should have known better than to go to that stupid school. Hey! What are you calling a stupid school? Your school is stupid. It's dumb. And you two are the dumbest idiots I have ever seen in my life. Hey! That's rude! You're a rude, mean old man! Oh, I suppose next. You want us to redo this episode all over again and be nicer and gentler. Well, that's not a bad idea. Very well, we'll do it. Tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, damn it. They kept the rude, the awful sounding sound effect. 
Well, Susan went into there, so let's follow her. Okay. Will you let us into the gazebo now? I don't think so. What? You still won't let us in? I thought you said you were going to be gentler and nicer this time. Well, I am nicer. I said I don't think so. In the original, I said, Hell no, you're not getting in for nothing. But I didn't say that. I said I don't think so. God, hell this, we're going in Is this really where you live, Susie? Well, of course! I didn't see anything wrong with it myself. Ah, shut up, old man! Well, is that any way to talk to me? After all, I am the host, and I'm winning one at that. Ah, well, I don't understand it. I walked all around it. Well, um, you understand fitting a building into a living room, don't you? Then what? You can do it with television. Put a picture of a building on the television screen, and you put the TV in the living room. Uh, yeah, that's different! Hmm, is it now? <laughs> Wait a minute. There are some questions I'd like you to answer. Oh, this poor cuckoo clock. It has stopped, and it has not worked ever since. I wonder what I'm to do with it. Are you listening to me? Oh, oh, oh. What is that? Uh, Chester Nut? That's Chestnut! Alright, alright. You want to go out? I'll let you out. Okay, Susan, come along with us. Uh. <laughs> Yes, I can. <laughs> I think it would be kind of amusing to have them along. <laughs> Grandpa, no! We tried to make a shadow fall across the Trotus exterior and it didn't work. Sorry, folks. Yeah.